Hi there, and this is David, and welcome back to Let's Be Beyond the Beyond. Last time we made it to the port town of Luna. Yeah, we left Zalagoon, we went to Opera, which is a pretty nondescript, boring town. Nothing really going on there. And, uh, yeah, now we're at this port town. We heard that there's pirates around here, though. Oh! Really? Mountains to the east of the village known as Jonawan? Hmm. Okay. Oh! Oh. Why? What does the Moon Crescent do? Hmm. Keep that in mind for later. Yeah, actually, I have. Oh, I don't see any here either. Oh, wait. What's going on? Sure. Oh. Huh. Wow, we're hearing lots of stuff. Uh, let's see if we say no. Oh. Yeah, people did say that, uh, everybody in the South was kind of barbaric. So, yeah. Hey there. Ooh, ancient treasures! Oh, well, that's no good. Cheap imitations. Screw that. Oh. Um, actually, you can do this, and you can make a lot of money doing this. Ooh, get a healing herb, too. So, let's see. Let's look at the vase that we just got there. And, yeah, you can get a mystic vase, um, which doesn't sell for all that much money. But if you keep on doing this, um, you can get some other better um, vases. So let's do it a couple of times, and let's see if I can actually get a decent vase. And every time you get a healing herb, too, so, you know, it's not that bad. Okay, all three myst mystic vases, but trust me, you can get some very um, expensive good vases that you can sell for a lot of money. So if you want to do this and gain up a ton of money, you can. I'm really not going to. This is going to be the only time that I really do this, just to kind of try to show it off. Really? They're all still the Mystic Vases? We'll do it one more time, because I only have one more um, item slot. So yeah, look, did I get anything good? No, I didn't. So I wasted all that money. <laughs> okay, that's just lovely. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Talk to you. Sure. Um, let's see. Let's try to sell these Mystic Vases, actually. Yeah. So you can trade them in for 100 gold, so it's not like you're losing all that much money. But you can get, like, fire drake vases and stuff and sell them for, like, 3,000 gold. Um, it is rather rare that you get those, so, yeah. It's kind of, um, you know, you have to abuse states, or save states and stuff like that if you really want to take advantage of this. But anyway, that's basically how, how that uh, works there. What's going on here? Oh. Oh. Whoa, the vase of life! Domino. Huh. Yikes! Oh, man. Ah! Wow, this guy isn't a very good boss. His life is insignificant compared to the value of the base? Huh. That's, uh, some craziness right there. By the way, these treasures that you see over there, we can't get them right now, but do keep them in mind for later. You know, inside the church and save there. I've already done that off-screen, though. And, uh, before we go and buy some more items, let's go over here. Oh, sure. Whoa! That's really expensive. <laughs> oh, God. So we're being told about a lot of stuff. There's this temple ruins with the Tower of Arwan on top of it, the town of Jonawan. We need to find these eld the, um, the Elder Village. We need to deal with this vase of life and Captain Domino. We need to deal with this pirate situation. A lot of stuff going on, and the game really gives you no indication as far as what you're supposed to do first. So yeah, that's kind of a bad move on the game's part, and that's another reason why this part of the game is very hard, and a lot of people quit at this part of the game, because they go to the wrong area first. But I'm going to do this the way the game intended us to do it. But here we have some new weapons that we can buy. Uh, some very, very nice stuff here. So what I'm going to do is buy upgrades for everyone, sell all the rest of those Mystic Faces and other things that I need to sell, and equipped all this stuff, so just give me a second and I'll get that done. Okay, well I get everything done there, so let me just show you what I have equipped. Um, and basically, I've never really used any of the herbs or the antidotes that the game has given me, uh, that I found in treasures, that enemies have dropped, so I have 
tons of those, which will come in extremely handy in the upcoming dungeons. Yeah, don't worry. We will be using these herbs. Do not sell them. Do not sell your antidotes. Keep them. Sell all the other crap that you get. Illusion potions, smoke bombs, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so yeah, we've seen this elf before, but it's just the one guy, so I figured I'd show it. And of course, we get a critical hit, but it guards against the critical hit. Like, what is that? Seriously? Twice in a row? You've got to be kidding me, game. Ugh, stuff like that's rage-inducing, you know? You're, you're thinking, oh my god, I finally got a critical hit, I can kill this guy before he kills me, and then they guard. So the plan is that we need to find this John Wan village, the village of the elders. No one really tells you where it is. The game actually shows you... Oh, oh, okay, we have some new enemies here. The game actually shows you um, the temple ruins and the Tower of Awan well before they ever show you um, John Awan Village. So, you know, a lot of people would think, hey, maybe I'll just go to those temple ruins first. Guess what? You're not! And you're gonna get slaughtered if you do. Yeah. Okay, so here are the Dark Priests. As you can see, they can heal themselves. They really can't do much else besides, you know, heal and attack, so they can't actually cast any kind of attack magic on you, so they're really not that dangerous. They are very much upgraded, though, as you can see, because we're not really dealing a whole hell of a lot of damage to them, are we? And these skeletons, yeah, they have a lot of HP, too, so... Battles at this point are going to start taking a lot longer than they have been. Especially add to the fact that a lot of the monsters can now heal themselves, cause status effects like Paralyze and Poison, as well as they can cast magic spells upon you. And yeah, we're in for um, the start of really, really, really bad dungeons long dungeons. We've gone through some before. We've gone through the, um, what is it? The, uh, the sewer, which really wasn't all that long. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, we have some devil scorpions. They can poison you. Oh, great, we ambushed them. Since we ambushed them, I'm not gonna waste my magic. Oh, we get a dual attack. Awesome. Yeah, we've gone through the sewer. We've gone through a couple of caves. Most of the caves have been very straightforward. And we went through that giant tree, which was also straightforward. Yeah, I did have that puzzle element to it, but it was still straightforward. From this moment on, though, these dungeons are going to be anything but straightforward. They are going to be out to destroy you. The game has a vendetta against you. The game wants to see you suffer. It wants to see you cry. It wants to see you just be at your wit's end end. So if you've thought that it was hard up till now, you ain't seen nothing yet. This is where the game really says, screw you. Because now we have a huge mazy dungeon. My favorite. So first things first, what you want to do is head on outside, go over here and get some treasure. Ooh, hey, we get the broadsword. Let's see. Um, I believe that's better than what I have. Let me look. Oh yeah, definitely. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, that's always nice to get an upgrade there. But then let's see. What I want to do now is just go all the way up. Get into a random battle. Oh, but the hobgoblin, but just one of them. Uh, let's see. These guys have 21 HP, but no special abilities. They are completely vanilla. Don't really worry about them. I wouldn't waste my magic on them. Speaking of magic, um, Annie learned Holy Light level 2, so that's very nice. Yeah, still group targeting, still amazing! So I'll just go on up these stairs. Um, then what I want to do is head over this way, up these stairs. Yeah, there's a very nice map, um, and you're going to want to use that map to struggle through here. So here we have two exits that we can choose from. I want to go out this exit right here and fall to our doom! Yeah. Anyway, just keep on climbing. This reminds me of something from Dragon Quest VI. Okay, here we see the Amazon Priestess. Let's send our fighters after them. Actually, let's use Annie's Holy Light level 2 against the Hobgoblins. 
Uh, you guys keep on going after the Amazon Priestess, though. The Priestess has 24 HP, she can confuse your party members, and she can heal herself with herbs. She's damned annoying. So yeah, hopefully the physical attacks can um, get her down. Or she'll heal herself. Is it just me, or does she look like the Amazon from um, Golden Axe? Something about the hair, maybe the red armor, you know? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Still, let's have the uh, physical attackers go after her now. And then the hobgoblins really are the least of my concern. I could have Edward or Annie cast another spell on them and kill them, but I hopefully I'll be able to um, take them down. As you're going through here, still, save your herbs, save your antidotes. I would recommend using David's MP first to heal, and then using Annie's MP to heal. Then after that, start using your herbs and your antidotes. Ooh, let's see what I got. Oh, only two strength? Oh, I got a defense. That's kind of nice. Yeah, level ups, they're random. But over here, what do we have? What do we have? Ooh, the magic emerald. Yeah, make sure you get this item. You will need it. It is an optional item to get, but get it. Seriously, get it. Okay, let's see. Just go on in here and head on down these stairs. Then I believe that I want to go... Okay, yeah, what I want to do now is head down this hole. And just continue following our path right here. Let's see. I want to go straight north over here and grab some treasure. Ooh, we have the ghost enemy. Uh, let's go up to the elf first, though, because the elf, they can cast wind on you, which is really bad. Uh, the ghost enemy, though, they can cast thunder and ice on you. I believe that they're both single target, whereas wind is multi-target, so get rid of that elf. Um, the ghost has 25 HP, and as you can see, it has quite a bit of defense as well. Okay, just keep on going after him. I'm actually doing halfway decent in this area. I'm getting very lucky. No one's cast any magic spells against me yet. Thank God. It's when the enemies start casting magic spells on you that you're really screwed. But what do we have here? Ooh, the flame card. Uh, that'll be good to sell. Okay, up these stairs. And then just continue following the only pathway that we can. Okay, at this point, I want to go over this vine, and then I believe over here for some more treasure. Ooh, the power gauntlet. Hey, hey, awesome. Uh, who can equip that? Let's see. Ooh, yeah, that's very nice for Samson. Can, um... David equipped it? No. Okay, so only Samson can equip it. And the nice thing about it, not only does it increase his defense by one more point, but it also increases his strength by two more points. So that's very, very nice. Okay, just go on through here. Huh, we can't step on those flowers. Can we examine them? No. Uh, okay. They looked out of the ordinary to me, but sure, whatever you say, game. At this uh, junction, you want to take the right fork. Oh wow, lots of enemies here. The lizard men. These guys are weak to ice. Um, do I really want to use no, let's use holy light. We'll use it on this group over there. Samson, you attack there. Ice is single target, fire isn't, so we'll have you um, attack them as well. Hopefully, my casters, they can deal with these uh, lizard men. Okay, perfect. Uh, they have 23 HP. They can also raise each other's attack power, which can be really, really rough. As you can see, they're resistant to fire, they're weak against ice. Um, Holy Light kind of gets around those resistances, though, which is really good. Yeah. So, yeah, they're raising up their stats. That's just lovely. Thanks, game. Thanks. If you notice, I have Annie at 2 VP, Samson at 5 VP. I'm really not that concerned about it because they have plenty of LP. If you want to, you can heal them up, but I like to pretty much... Wait until my LP's lower, like maybe in, you know, less than 10, and then really start using heals and herbs and stuff like that. Take advantage of the LP system. 
uh, to conserve your MP. Okay, so let's see what I want to do here. Looking at my notes, I believe I just want to head up. Uh, okay, so here we have another enemy. The goal, as well as the harpy. We've seen the harpy before. Um, but yeah, the goal, I believe that that's new. They have 25 HP and they can paralyze you. Yeah. Paralysis does wear off after a couple of turns. I would say two to three turns it'll um, finally wear off. But it's just so annoying because they won't be able to do anything. You know what? I have plenty of MP uh, between my uh, between my casters. I was going to have Edward cast fire too as well, but eh, having a holy light on there is fine. And we're almost done with this place. And these harpies, their stats are so high. They have such high defense. Um, and they can call for help and all that kind of stuff that I really just don't want to deal with them. I'd rather just get rid of them and um, cast magic on them to kill them. Awesome. Yeah, Samson's getting a little bit better with these upgraded weapons and everything that we got back in Luna. Um, finally, he's really outclassing... Edward and his physical attacks, um, especially because he's being in the back row and all that kind of stuff, but I don't know. I still don't like him. He's cursed all the time. He can't move. He inflicts pain on himself. He's just annoying. I can't stand Samson. Ooh. I'll be selling that illusion powder as well. Okay, keep on going up here. And then let's head on down these stairs, and then I believe from here I want to head up this way. And down these stairs. Oh, okay, here we have a new enemy, the Summoner. If you want to, you can silence it. I, will, I wouldn't waste my MP on that, though. Um, but that could come in handy, and you actually have a pretty decent chance of silence landing as well. Hey, yeah, she got a vital recovery right there. She didn't even lose any LP. Samson, you can learn a thing or two from Annie. She's so good. I love, love, love Annie. Oh, by the way, those summoners, they can cast fire too. They can use herbs, and they can summon other enemies to help them. They're a royal pain in the ass. Okay, well, we finally made it out of there. Oh, this looks like that village that we've heard so much about. Jonawan, the village of the elders, where apparently Samson can hopefully finally get his curse lifted. But will he? Or will we still suffer? Find out next time on Let's Play Beyond the Beyond. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.